Humanity was in paradise. Paradise. Not palm trees and hula girls, <laughs> seven virgins. <laughs> I want to die and go to heaven and get seven virgins. Well, after the first week, you got no virgins left. <laughs> If that's what you're looking for, you know, it's like after the first night, there are no virgins left, you know, <laughs> depending on whether you're a horny little devil or not, you know. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> you are the ocean. Now, taking form, form is different than the ocean. It is a solidified ocean. So now you are separated from the whole. You become visible to the world. Wow. Now it talks to physical form. You know, you give in to the snake. It's not a snake. Everything exists on a vibratory level. It is what perceivable at that time was the lowest vibrational frequency. The longer the frequency, the lower the frequency, the more solid the frequency. So we're not talking about a snake here. We're talking about this being physical, being physical. Now it says to woman, you're gonna bear children and the pain is gonna be great. See, why would God put that on you? Because it's a part of being physical. <laughs> it's not something that's put on you as a curse, it's if you rip it, <laughs> it hurts. And I dare say that dropping a bowling ball out of your behind hurts. I would imagine, <laughs> okay? You got an eight pound kid coming. I would imagine, mm. Guys, you, have, you must you be very thankful I'm not a woman. <laughs> You get nothing here. <laughs> Not, see, that is the condition of physical existence. It says to man, you will earn your living by the sweat of your brow. Why? Because form has to have form in order to maintain form. You have to eat. It's not a punishment. It is the nature of being in physical reality. Now, just think about that. Okay? Think of the way it has been taught. Think of the way it has been taught. It has nothing to do with that. Come on. This is a real world. That thing we call God is a real thing. It's a real being. It doesn't violate its own laws. No, because that is the law. What people of limited view and intelligence deem as miracles is nothing but science that they don't understand. Last year's miracle is today's science because we now take the time to understand it. 
we have to be pragmatic and we have to look at things pragmatically and we have to look at things objectively. One of the things that's always curious to me What does the term Adam mean? It means mankind. It doesn't mean a guy made today. It means mankind. Read a little bit about this. It talks about a woman named Lilith. Now, who was Lilith? She was Adam's first wife. But I thought, just read it. You're going to find these, dip these contradictions. When you find them, you got to think. See, it's the same thing when you write down what you thought. you got to reason. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold it. You gotta ask some questions about it. The other thing, Cain and Abel. The two sons born to Adam and Eve. The two things born to mankind. Cain means translation, love of form. Abel, translation, breath of God. Love of form slays breath of God. Because what you do is you become more attached to things than the natural order of love and caring that is natural within your being. So, I'll take money over you. I'll take form over another human being. Well, that's collateral damage. Well, not to the person that you are collaterally damaging. That hurts. It says that you are cut off from the breath that is what you are. You're cut off from the whole, the breath of God. You're cut off from the whole you see, we have to come to see and to ask proper questions. And sometimes we have to learn how to ask proper questions. First, if you've got a stupid question, ask it. Ask it of yourself and see the stupidity in it yourself. And then you will stop asking it. <laughs>